as a football card investor and flipper selling football cards right now because we want to sell them high is like working in a uh, a car dealership or a convenience store in a very rural country area just not getting a whole lot of business but i have managed to <laughs> sell some you know some tops finest based ryan Tannehill cards and i did sell a lot of nine for twenty dollars and you take the ebay fees and all that shipping and kind of good stuff and maybe get fifteen dollars uh so yeah that's not much more than one dollar per card but i'm moving them they're going to a new home i may look at you know putting that towards this buy it now right here of a ryan Tannehill tops chrome refractor and an aj brown optic hollow or pink refractor or pink prism that prism and put it put it down on that and make up the difference and maybe make an offer on this card for that $30 range maybe see if somebody because if you're really trying to generate that uh, year-long income you're gonna have to take some lower prices right now on football cards and when it comes to buying auctions are where it's at right now on eBay because the activity is a lot lower because all the t attention on uh, basketball and hockey and baseball and soccer etc you take that into consideration these auctions are like crickets until you get down to the last minute or two and then the people just the bids flood in you know the bids are flooding in there get your maximum bid ready because you don't want to be in one of those bidding wars in the last two minutes on a you know, Friday night or a Saturday night or a Sunday night when you've had a couple beers in you. Sold for $105 to badge number. 527. Wait. 598. 598? Wait, which what? is it? Wait, you wait. bid it. You bid 100. He also bid 100. They were 100. Yeah, okay. Well, no, I, I said 105. Oh, God, Fight it out! You <laughs> don't fist fight. Uh, okay, apparently there were 205s. And I did not hear. No, there was All right, you got almost halfway there. I'll look with just one eye. So, speaking of which, we've got more auctions that we've won here in the football card garage, the lab, the fancy football card quest. Welcome or welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys are getting your week off to a good start. We got. <laughs> But before we dig into today's mail, eBay purchases, maybe a couple Beckett Marketplace, maybe, I don't know. Uh, ComC, I don't know, you know they transferred to eBay. But there were 37 different people in the chat from last Wednesday night's live stream and the fat pack of select that I opened up, including the third, fourth, in fourth year Carson Wentz uh, numbered card to 99. That is being given away. There were some decent rookies in there. There was a Gabriel Davis, a KJ Hamler. There's a Clyde Edwards Hilaire, all base concourse, rookie cards. Oh, there was a Quintez Cephas Silver. So that's in there as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and spin the names and see who wins. Chosen at random, spinning the wheel at random. We think maybe based on their algorithm, right? Oh, gee. And is it going to be? It's Nick. Nick, congratulations, brother. Leave me a comment, um, and we'll connect offline. Uh, you can send me an email, ffcardlink at gmail.com. Send me your digits. Don't forget to include your social security number, your bank account number, your routing number, all that kind of good stuff. I'm just joking, man. Uh, but ffcardlink at gmail.com. Send me your, your address, and uh, I would love to send this giveaway package out to you bubble wrapped up in the barbell breaks package but it'll be i put one of my stickers on there hook you up with a sticker too oh in case if you guys ever want to buy any stickers that you see in any of my videos or the t-shirts you just go to tpublic.com type in the card quest and it'll all come up or i also have some offerings on my website all right so without further ado let's pull in this card cam and let's open some of these packages and let's roll We're rolling. We're in the camera view. I'm not going to check that. I'm not going to do it this time, guys. I'm not going to look up at the phone camera. 
I'm just gonna go. Dude, can't tell you guys how much I appreciate all your support, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. You guys kick ass. I just, just check it once. All right, look what we got here, guys. Some Kenyan Drakes. Loud City Cards and Collectibles, shout out, got the sticker. Hey, check that out. Thank you for your purchase. Follow us on IG, Cloud City Cards. That's a good idea. I'm gonna go follow them. Very cool. Got the uh, Kenyon Drake, the Kiko Alonso, Josh Rosen. There's the Miles Gaskin rookie card that I believe I bought this for. We're going straight back to the Miles Gaskin. Oh yeah, but this was really what I was after right there, y'all. Check it out. Look at that beautiful prism silver Miles Gaskin, still with no backfield competition, right there on the top, next to the next to the turquoise uh, section right here. There's a little dark mark. I don't know if that's part of the card or like, you know, someone in the background of the picture. I'll have to go and look. No, look, actually, duh. Look at that. Compare them both. You can see it on both, so it's just like part of the picture. It's not like a little like burnt mark on the card. I, I just, yeah, because this is a, a beautiful Prism Silver uh, rookie card that I picked up for $20 with the, with the base. So I love that price point. Next package. You guys go watch the last mail day. I did a more comprehensive breakdown on why, why Miles Gaskin is such a nice running back prospect. A, you get his rookie cards dirt cheap. B, no backfield competition. C, showed some really nice explosiveness, really good receiving skills. So that's all purpose, baby. That's all purpose, and we like that. And he's young. He's young, 2019 rookie. So let's roll. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was a lot that I won on eBay. Antonio Gibson, rookie card. We know what's up. We know who's good in the NFL. One benefit of being, you know, uh, a fantasy football analyst is that we look at the entire player pool of the NFL, not just our our division and not just specific teams and not just who's hyped up the most in the mainstream media. We follow the entire player pool and we look at their athletic profiles. We look at their past performance metrics, their height adjusted speed score. We look at their opportunity metrics in the receiving game, in the rushing game the carries they get per game, the amount of targets they get. And when you look at this guy, dude is an all-purpose bell cow stud. Now I gotta say, that's a really nice design. Although I'm not a fan of these daggum die cuts. I'm sorry guys, I'm just not. This is a, a concourse prism die cut. Looks like it's got like a, a tricolor there. Oh, red, white, and blue actually, I bet. And this was a lot that I got off of eBay. Here's a silver. Now this is, I believe the club level, yeah. This is the club level silver. Just a beautiful card with the silver. I like the club level, but you can see there's gonna be a lot of off center. You see how this left um, left part is wider than the right? I think you're gonna see that in almost 99% of the select club level cards, unfortunately. Then you go to something like this, which is the field level. And this is a cool card. That's a very similar theme to 2018, 19 field level. You know, with the way it opens up like that and uh, the players and definitely an action pose there taken from a game. I've uh, got the rookie card logos, a base field level. They're cool. I think they're cool. It's like a <laughs> vortex opening up into the action scene there. Got some more concourse here. Looks like these are in the same penny sleeve. Three more concourse. Man, I have to throw up the price point, but with all of these, uh, wow, three more concourse. Four concourses. There's a premiere. So that's what the premiere looks like. And I like this one too. I'm kind of torn between which one I like better. Now, of course, silver is better in all variations. Right? But between the. Because shout out to uh, Andrew Perry, Craft uh, Cards and Craft Beer. Did I say that right, brother? On Instagram. Cool name. Um, he's like, dude. 
Watch out for Joe Burrow auctions. Uh, club level silvers are trading less than what his premier base cards are trading at. And that's a great deal because technically the club level is supposed to be shorter of a print run than the premier. So it's supposed to go concourse premier club level than field level in terms of print run and scarcity. So it's very interesting there. Which one do you guys like better? Let me know in the comments. Which one do you like better? Club level or premier? The layout around the card. And then there's another base club level. So sick lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rookie cards of Antonio Gibson, silver, the die cut. Uh, concourse another die cut concourse and prism green that's a cool little green neon color there but 10 of these I think I got that for like 50 bucks I want to say all right so let's move on to the next package select rookies oh man we got the pack this is so cheap like and it's such a beautiful card man it's de it's got depth to it it's got a patch it's a rookie card, a Mike Evans rookie card. It's also numbered to $3.99. I think I got this card for like $10 or less. It's just amazing what you can find when you go back a few years in the draft class, you know, 2014. But, I mean, look, I mean, just because we have a lot of weapons on our team does not mean that his rookie card value of a patched serial number rookie card should be, uh, you know, suppressed that much. So... And plus, obviously, this has got PC relevance to me. Beautiful select rookie card there. So I'll take that kind of card for, you know, as cheap as it is all day. All right, let's see what we got in here. Red Rifle Sports Cards. Yeah, good looking out, Red Rifle, man. I saw this, uh, and the price point was like 70 bucks. It's a Prism Silver autographed. Cortland Sutton, arguably the alpha wide receiver in Denver, should be Teddy Bridgewater as a QB. I don't know. Latest rumors from over the weekend is that Aaron Rodgers is retiring. I don't think Denver's gonna. I don't. I, don't, I think Denver's gonna roll. It's gonna be 50-50 time split in training camp and and preseason with Teddy B and Drew Locke. But this guy's uh, fully gonna be fully healthy. This is a PSA nine, but dear God, it's such a beautiful card. And, it looks like it's in pristine condition. Love the silver on this. Love the silver on this with the autograph just, and it's already slabbed in PSA 9. Very low pop count, very low pop count. Um, so I felt very comfortable about spending $70 for it. I, I look to hopefully uh, double or triple my money on this card. Would have loved to have it in a PSA 10 but uh, very low pop count as it is, and this card is in, looks like it's in PSA 10 condition. Look at it, it looks flawless. And so, hey, I'm not gonna turn that down when, you know, PSA 9's auto silvers of, of other comparable 2018 athletes are double, triple that amount. And the Broncos are a big market team. I mean, they got a huge fan base, a lot of fans there. Definitely, I think Teddy Bridgewater's an, an up, upgrade. I mean, he's he's a good passer, dude. Pretty accurate passer. And Cortland Sutton's a beast, man. So I'm optimistic that, uh, and dude, dude, this is crazy. Why would you put this kind of tape already on a sticky bag, dude? Like, what were you thinking, man? Is this, like, this is crazy. Good thing you put, included extras because I cut into one. Oh, and now the painter's tape comes in. Like, just atypical packaging. I don't know. A little crazy. A little crazy. But there it is. That's what I was looking for in the smoke tinted top loader. The yellow, yellow smoke tinted top loader, a Calvin Ridley select phenomenon rookie card. I love the 2018 Select Phenomenon style, man. That's pretty, dude. That's a very pretty card. Calvin Ridley. I don't know if Julio Jones is going to make it uh, on the Falcons this year. There's a lot of trade rumors. I, I would not be surprised at all if Julio Jones is traded this offseason. That definitely makes Calvin Ridley the clear alpha. And even last year, look at the amount of 
target share and uh, and targets and receptions and yardage and touchdowns that Calvin Ridley got. I mean, he surpassed Julio Jones easily, and he's taken over that wide receiving room. And, and Calvin Ridley, being a 2018 rookie out of Alabama, just in, just a great athlete, man, with great hands, route running, speed, the whole nine yards, man. He's an incredible athlete. Uh, just like this man right here. And so with the addition of Kyle Pitts, I mean, Julio Jones, if he stays, let's look at that as Julio Jones and Kyle Pitts. You know, Julio Jones stays, now you got multiple targets. But ultimately, Calvin Ridley, I think, is going to be the dominant force because people are going to be putting their alpha coverage, their big corners on Julio, on Kyle Pitts now. And um, it's going to leave Calvin Ridley getting open, getting a lot of yardage, a lot of touchdowns. That offense is going to be super high power. The defense is terrible. They're going to be behind a lot in a negative game script in a hurry-up offense, throwing the ball a ton to Calvin Ridley <laughs> and Julio and Kyle Pitts. So I want a piece of that all day. And when you can get Calvin Ridley's rookie guards for, I think, this one, like under 20, this silver phenomenon, just a beautiful select rookie card, I'm on it. And then this, first year select. I mean, actually, yeah. This is a first year select, which also happens to be DeAndre Hopkins, future Hall of Famer, no doubt. I mean, if he can just make it to a postseason event and if he can be on a team that gets a, a championship, I mean, this guy goes to the Pro Bowl and is an all-pro selection every year. He's so damn good uh, in his incredible hands. I love his story. Uh, just such a, a good guy, hard work, incredibly hard working, dedicated to his craft and uh, his passion for the game uh, and representing for his family. And this card, you guys seen, I've got the Tom Brady in this set. I love this. And it was so, so cheap, guys. I think I got this for like $20 and this being a, a short print insert. Just such a cool card. That's sick, man. I'm all about this. Like, this is a card I want to send in to be graded, slapped up. Really cool card. You're not going to find many of those in the marketplace. So when I did at that price point, I grabbed it. All right. One more package for today, y'all. And this one's a fat one. So, ooh, buddy, I think this might be my Beggin' Marketplace order. Yes, sir. It looks like it is that is it indeed and if it is then it's gonna be like all marvin jones marvin jones jr and i know you're thinking wait let me throw up the prices what i paid and stuff there you can see but i mean we're talking uh quantity 41 1 so 46 47 50 55 56 cards for 30 38 74 so 60 cents per card something like that <laughs> 60 cents per card and these are all should be all chrome and uh parallel refractors of marvin jones rookie card which is uh what 2013 2012 and the reason why i bought it is right trevor lawrence traded to the jacksonville jaguars uh, Marvin Jones had a great year last year now Kenny Galladay did miss a lot of time there but with the gunslinger Matt Stafford Marvin Jones had a really good year even though at 32 years of age and with being able to buy these so cheap and noticing that the supply is so low on star stock um, I with I feel confident and these are in very good shape I know a good percentage of these when I say good I'm expecting 50 to 60% max are going to get star stock A's, the rest B's, but I want to send these in. I want to fulfill the star stock supply of Marvin Jones rookie cards because I believe there will be hype on this man going into the 2021 season playing with Trevor Lawrence, even though he'll be alongside DJ Chark and LaVisca Chanel, who should get more demand. They should get more hype based on their age and the fact that they are good athletes. Um, and now you got Travis Etienne going there, who's uh, also an incredible value I'll be looking at adding because he was Trevor Lawrence's running back in college. So they have that experience, the shower narrative, if you will, but this is supposed to be 41, and I've got to get all these in, in um, 
penny sleeves. We'll load those up in penny sleeves. Look at that little chrome glisten on the side. Now, that's a stack of Marvin Jones Jr. rookie cards. And this is the beauty of Beckett Marketplace and some things they do good. So these are Topps Chrome Orange Refractors. Just beautiful card. That's got smudges on it. That's not a Star Stock A. That maybe, so maybe only one of those gets a Star Stock A. It's okay. Maybe I'll save those and put those on eBay instead. But look at these beautiful, just plain silver refractors. Those are very pretty. Got to get those in a sleeve. And look at these X fractors. And we're talking 60 cents a card on average, guys, for all of these. And this was a gold. This is not a chrome, but it is a gold. And so it's numbered to 2012, the year. And I, I really like that. I know there's a lot of fans of gold uh, paralleled rookie cards. So that is very cool for 60 cents. I'm just going to just remind you. I mean, these are the kind of things I look for on Beckett Marketplace. This is the perfect example of a guy that I think I don't need a whole lot of hype to, to happen for this guy's for me to make a tremendous amount of profit on this one single guy. Whether he's done a whole lot in his career, he's been, I know he's been boom or bust, streaky, but you've got to give it that at these prices, he doesn't need much hype. And playing with Trevor Lawrence, who is already the most hyped quarterback coming into the 2021 season, with Urban Meyer, there's going to be mad hype for all the Jacksonville skill positions. And, and I could see that Marvin Jones with being the experience, the most experienced guy in that wide receiver room. Look at that camo. That's a cool camo parallel. Being the most experienced guy in that wide receiver room that he kind of, Trevor Lawrence will lean to him in clutch pressure pack situations. Um, and uh, so, and then, yeah, these are the rest of the chromes to equal that 41. Whew, baby. This is a beautiful point to stop. We are full steam ahead here in the off season. As you can see, we got a lot of stuff moving. Like I said, we just had to slow down a little bit so we can speed back up. But big things coming, guys. Appreciate your subscription, your likes, your comments. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. I'll see you in that next one. Live stream later this week. And of course, my commitment to you good, bad, or indifferent, whether how raw or rough it is, is you get a new video every Monday. So until then, have a great Monday. Enjoy your week. I'll see you in that next video. Peace. Of course, stay tuned for the highlight reel. Don't want to miss the highlight reel. And on my website, you can sign up for the free Google Sheets that are in a massive revamping phase thanks to huge help from a special subscriber and uh, previous collaborator, Sean at Raven Invest. He is going to be helping me build out the remainder of these sheets the way that God has intended for us to use them to our advantage. And I will share that with all of you guys in the very near future. Big things are coming on that front as well.
Doesn't mean you get my Bud Light though.